Building a traction motor stator requires a series of processes to produce the individual components of the stator, which are then assembled. The traction motor stator consists of three primary components, wires, laminates, and insulation materials. The wires start as a large spool of wire that is unraveled and straightened in the same process step. After straightening, a portion of the wire is stripped to expose the copper for future welding, and then the wires are cut to a specific length. The cut wires are fed into a bending machine that provides the specific geometry required for a particular motor design. Typically, the stator core is produced and stacked on a secondary line that is separate from the primary stator assembly line. Blank metal sheets are stamped to produce the stator laminates that are stacked to form the stator core. After the stator core is glued or welded together, an insulative slot liner is inserted into the stator core slots to prevent wire-to-wire -wire contact. Once the stator core is complete with slot liners, it is introduced to the primary stator assembly line, where wire insertion begins through a series of automated processes. The wire insertion process is complete once all the wires are completely pressed to the proper depth. The exposed copper sides are spread apart in pairs to avoid any wire-to-wire -wire contact. The wire pairs are twisted before the tips are welded together to complete the three-phase wire diagram. Next, the connection ring and neutral bar are assembled before a varnish is applied to the copper wires to protect them. After the varnish cures, the weld side of the motor is dipped into an epoxy bath to protect the welded wire tips, ensuring optimal electrical isolation. Finally, the entire stator is cured one last time. Once the stator is completely cured, a series of electrical tests are performed to ensure it is fully functional before being packaged and shipped to the powertrain assembly plant.